Hello everyone. Welcome to Unlock Maths. Today we will know the PI when we have function x is equals to x into v, where v is sine of ax or cos of ax. That means x is of this type. X into this is sine of ax, or this x is equals to x into cos of ax. Right? Yes. Here we have degree of x. This is one here. Right? So now we have to find pi when we have this type of function. Now we have formula for pi. We have this is one upon f of d into x. X is this function of x here we have this function x into v that means this v is sine of ax or cos of ax now what we have to do we have to operate this 1 upon f of d on this function so first we will write down this is x here that means here we have to take x outside the operation so then we have 1 upon f of d into v minus then we have to take the derivative of this f of d and this is f of d its square and this is v so yes in this way we have to find pi when we have function x is equals to x into v this is the formula by which we can find pi yes what is this yes we have taken this is x outside this operation then we have 1 upon f of d into v minus this is f dash of d upon f of d its square into v and v is this sine of ax or cos of ax that means here we have to operate this 1 upon f of d on this v this is by case second right so yes by simplifying this we will get required pi now to understand the working procedure of this rule let's have a look on first example so yes now here we have to find the pi for this given differential equation right so this is yes we can check that here x into sin x we have here that means this is of this type right so yes we will write down pi okay so what is here f of d this is d square minus twice d plus 1 and x is here x into sin x okay yes now we have to operate this 1 upon f of d on this x into sin x and this is we have to done by the formula so here we have this formula yes so what we have to do we have to take this is x this is outside so here we have this is yes 1 upon f of d into v v is here this is sin x then minus we have to take the derivative of this so derivative of this with respect to d this is here twice d minus 2 and here we have f of d its square that means yes this is the square of this f of d into sin x yes we have applied this formula here now we have to simplify this is here yes now we can check that this is 1 upon f of d and this is sin x and this is we have to solve by case second so yes what we have to do in case second when we have sin of ax or cos of ax we have to replace this is d square by minus a square right so here we have a is equals to 1 a is the coefficient of this x so this is a minus a square this will be minus 1 so yes here we have to write down d square is equals to minus 1 yes now same here we will put d square is equals to minus 1 And this sin x this is as it is okay now we have to do the simplification of this next so yes here we have 
minus twice d. Now this is twice d minus 2. Again here we have yes this is its square. Yes we have here minus twice d its square. Yes. Yes we will simplify this is here. So now here we have 1 upon d into sin x. This is as it is. Now here we have 1 upon e square, 1 upon 4d square. Yes. Yes. Now 1 upon d, this is the integration of sin x, right? So sin x integration we have here, this is minus cos of x. Now, yes, we can take the sin x, it's double integration here. Yes, 1 upon d, this is the integration with respect to x and 1 upon d square, this is double integration. Yes, also we can put d square is equals to minus a square, right? So, yes, we will put here, this is minus 1 and this is sin x. Yes, here we can take double integration or we can put this is also, we will have the same here, okay. Now next we have to do the simplification of this is, yes, what is the simplification of this one, this minus minus get plus, yes, and this is, yes we can check that again here we have minus minus plus and here we have this is 2 common, we can take this is outside and this is 4, yes. Now here we have d minus 1 that means we, here we have to operate this bracket on this sin x. So here we have so yes on simplification derivative of sin this is cos of x and this is minus sin x as it is. Yes now we can check that here we can take this one by 2 outside so here we have x cos x plus this cos x minus sin x. So yes, this is the required pi. Now let's have a look on second example. Yes, here we have this x. So yes, we have to apply the formula for finding pi. Yes, we will put the value of f of d and this x here. So f of d is d square plus 9. And this x is x into cos of x. Yes. Now here this is the function x into cos of x. For simplifying this, yes, we have to apply the formula. Yes, what is the formula? We have to take this is x outside. Yes, so here 1 upon f of d into this is cos of x minus f of d its derivative that is f dash of d so derivative is here twice d and this is f of d its square and this is cos of x yes here we have f of d is what d square plus 9 so f dash of d is here yes this is derivative with respect to d right yes so now we have to operate this 1 upon f of d on this cos of x. Yes, again, this is by case second. What we have to do, we have to put d square is equals to minus a square. And a is here coefficient of this x. So that means this is here minus 1. Yes, now we will simplify this is here. Yes, we have to put d square is equals to minus 1. So here we have, yes. And again, same here, what is d square is equals to minus 1. Yes. So, on simplification, here we got this is. And again, yes, here we have 8 its square. Yes. Yes, derivative of cos, this is minus sin x, right? So, what we got here, this is x by 8 into cos of x, this minus minus get plus, and this is 1 upon 32 into sin of x. Yes, this is the pi. 
now here we have given that we have to solve this differential equation that means here we have to find the value of y y is given by this is this, y is equals to c f plus p i right here we have find p i now we will find c f for c f what we need yes auxiliary equation is given by this is d square plus 9 is equals to 0 yes and what is the roots of this one yes here we have d is equals to plus minus 3r how the roots this is roots are complex and distinct so we can write cf this is c1 cos of 3x plus c2 sine of 3x yes this is the cf now we will write down solution c a plus p i yes this is the solution which we have find for this given differential equation yes now what we have to remember here yes when we have function x into v where v is sine of ax or cos of ax we have to apply this formula for finding p i yes yes here we have to remember this formula so yes here we have to use this formula for finding p i when we have x is of this type right so yes that's it for now see you in the next video thank you keep watching